Hi, we're Team Web Sprouts, and by creating the guide that we wish we'd had when we first started using the Impact Framework, we believe we will empower other web developers to use the Impact Framework to measure and report on the carbon impact of their website. We've created um, a pack of resources which should allow web developers to use the Impact Framework if they're new to it, including a video series, an article, prototypes of helpful web tools, and a launch pack to tie these resources together. The reason why we've gone for this multimodal approach is we recognise that different people respond to different uh, modes of communication and it also allows us to tailor how we present our information um, to the medium that's, that's best suited to getting different kinds of information across. Hi, I'm Rachel from the UK and I co-wrote an article which hopefully should help people not make the same mistakes I made when I first started to use the impact framework. I dove straight headfirst into writing a manifest file without really understanding how the different um, parts related to my project. Um, and this guide goes through how to make those decisions before you start writing. The launch kit is an easy on-ramp into the impact framework. The idea is that someone interested in measuring the environmental impacts of software could request more information and receive this digital download with all the resources they need to get started understanding and using the impact framework. For those who learn best by watching, we created a YouTube playlist with several videos that help you get started using the Green Software Impact Framework. The first video in the series accompanies a GitHub repo with code to run your first manifest file and understand the output. We've also begun mapping all of the existing plugins in the Impact Framework to identify their inputs, outputs, expected data format, and a description of what they do to find the plugins they need to construct their pipeline. We made a hugging face space with a couple of prototypes on things that could supplement the advancement of the impact framework. The first is a submission form. The idea behind this is that it would standardize the format for any potential plugin builder to identify plugin name, description, where the code lives, and what the inputs and outputs are. To continue that line of thinking, we built the impact framework pipeline builder. The idea here is that you could select the plugin you wanted to use and configure it based on the information that was submitted to the registry. Lastly, we just wanted to thank a number of people who were instrumental in helping us. First and foremost to Alex Urbanson, whose IF webpage plugins repo was instrumental in helping us understand the attributional model of measuring a website's carbon footprint. To a number of people at Mozilla, as well as the Green Web Foundation, who were willing to take time out of their busy day to answer some of our questions. We learned a ton, we had a lot of fun, while the hackathon is over, we're excited to keep plugging away with the impact framework and in the green software space in general.